Hi guys and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to reset the password on your Raspberry Pi 4. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, for this demonstration I, I basically want to recover or actually I want to reset the password on uh, uh, Ubuntu which is currently installed in the Raspberry Pi 4. The procedures that I'm about to show you will basically work with the other flavors of Linux so if you have the standard Debian installed uh, that's gonna work pretty much the same. In order to to, to reset the password however you will need uh, physical access to the Raspberry Pi 4 uh, you will also need another machine and that's because we will need to edit uh, some uh, text file which is uh, in the root folder and that's basically bef because uh, so uh, the way you reset the password in Ubuntu for instance it's uh, uh, normally you will try to access the root folder uh, on uh, boot up but uh, because the Raspberry Pi doesn't have a BIOS system or a UEFI uh, system which is the new, new generation of uh, uh, BIOS, we cannot actually do that. So what we'll need to do is to take the card out of the device, to edit some text file which is in the folder, then to put it back in the device, to uh, type in few comments which I will leave in the description below and I will also link a uh, blog post uh, from my website and then uh, you will basically uh, be able to reset the password, so to change the password. The other thing that you will need uh, it's a wired keyboard and since you are going to to insert the micro SD card in another machine you will either need the USB uh, card reader or a micro SD adapter if your computer or laptop has a built-in uh, uh, card reader. Alright, so let's see how to do that. Okay guys, so just to show you now that uh, I'm not able to access uh, my account, okay, so let me insert the password and boom, sorry that didn't work, so, so uh, unfortunately Ubuntu and most of uh, Linux flavor, uh, they do not offer an easy way to actually reset your password in case you forget it so for the for this reason we will need to to follow this uh, procedure all right so the first thing you want to do you want to shut down uh, the raspberry pi 4 so log off power off yes give a power off let's wait for it okay once it's off you can unplug or actually to uh, switch off if you have a switch like in my Raspberry Pi okay and now you can get the micro SD card from it so you can grab the micro SD card all right uh, you can put it on a reader in my case I don't have a slot for SD card to input it in a computer alright so once we plug the uh, micro SD card in our machine we will be prompt to format the disk that's because uh, there is some there are multiple partitions which make up which makes up the operative system but we want to cancel the operation okay and now this is the root folder of um, Ubuntu operative system in uh, our case. Uh, you have to find, you have to look for a file that is called cmdline.txt. As you can see, it's the one over here. So you want to open it, and this has just a single line of uh, code in it. Don't be bothered about what's the meaning of all of this. What you want to do is to go all the way to the hand to give a space uh, alright, the wrong keyboard so to give a space 
and then to paste uh, well to type in my case I have it ready so to type in it equal forward slash bin forward slash sh okay after that you want to save so controls control s and you can close all right we can now uh, close everything don't format the disk once again uh, we can extract the card and to put it back on the raspberry pi and i'll show you what to do next all right the sd card is here is ready we can put it back in our raspberry pi and we can power up okay well let's change the input to my monitor because right now it's on my computer now we'll need to wait for it to boot up and to initialize That shouldn't take long it will be a matter of maybe a minute initializing SD card it will give you an error because it will not initialize the system actually and now basically that's how you will be left with there will be this hash sign that means that after this you can now type what I'm going to type. So the first thing we want to do is to mount the SD card. So to do that you type mount then hyphen ho sorry o remount uh, comma r w space forward slash and hit enter. Alright so after that you can uh, uh, you can prompt to change the password and to do that you type pass wd space and uh, account or the user that you want to change the password for so if you are on um, default uh, account that's going to be pi for example in my case it's my name Giuseppe Giuseppe hit enter then it prompts you to type the new password uh, you're not going to see the, task, the password as you type in so you have to be careful on what you're typing alright it, it will give you some hint whether or not the password is strong enough or not in my case it's just a, a demonstration so I'm not bothered and boom password updated successfully now we want to synchronize what we just did by typing sync s y and c and after that we will execute exec space forward slash s bin forward slash e n init mm. All right, and type enter. Now they, this should go through some process and to start up Ubuntu. Mm. Okay, let's try our password straight away. and we are logging we are logging in let's wait for it boom we can test if our files are here so I will open up just to see I have test document ready
and yes this is my file so that's pretty much all now we are going to shut down the Raspberry Pi 4 so power off power off we want to wait for uh, um, something like 30 seconds or so just to be sure that the, the, the Raspberry Pi is completely off now that's the screen from my uh, computer which is connected to the same monitor because right now this is the only, the only video signal uh, uh, coming in so when after the 30 second passed you can switch off you can power off the Raspberry Pi meaning I'm plugging it you want to get back the micro SD card and to put it back in your machine All right plug it in once again it's going to ask you to format just cancel and OK so go back to the file that we added earlier and let's remove what we had that at the end what we appended to what was written this init bin sh all uh, right from keyboard once again there we go control s to save and now let's close and close cancel so remove the sd card from the computer plug it back in into the raspberry pi 4 and let's power it up so i'll change the input from my screen so what we did is basically we restored the the booting uh, process of the system so that we are not once again prompt in the black screen so now what we want is to boot up and to go to the, to the logging uh, screen. So this should now take us straight there. Give it a time. Okay, let's try to log in once again. Yeah, the password is accepted. And there you go, guys. All right, guys. So here we are. We we are successful so as you can see it wasn't that hard you, you will just need to work around a little bit you don't necessarily need to understand the few commands that I uh, that I've used you just can type the same thing and uh, that's gonna work just fine for you and this is pretty much all um, yeah if you like the video don't forget to click the thumb up button below and to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one Ciao for now.